Hey guys, what's up? This is Warren here back with a new video. And in this video, we are going to take a look at some best two tabs for an Android device. So, without wasting any further time, let's get started. Now, I am not going to explain what is rooting, whether you should root your device or not. If you want to root your device, just head to Google and type how to root and type in your device name and device model and that's it, you can get the rooting procedure for your Android device. With that being said, let's check out some rooted apps. And as always, all the links to the apps that I show in this video will be in the video description down below, so do not worry about that. Number 1. Add Away Adaway is an open ad blocker that modifies the host file of your Android device. It can block ads on both browser and within the app. With this app, you can also scan for adwares which might be installed on your device and remove them. You can also whitelist some host files to support the developer. And for obvious reasons, this app is not available on the Google Play. Next up we have Netcut. Netcut is a great alternative for Wi-Fi kill and what it does is, it kills the internet connection of any Android device which is on your Wi-Fi network. It also has some features like you can visualize your Wi-Fi network and see which device is on your Wi-Fi network. As you can see, I have two devices on my Wi-Fi network. If you just tap on the red Wi-Fi icon, you can kill the internet connection of that device. If you are the person who your friends call you whenever they mess up with their computer, then you will definitely need this app. So with DriveDroid, you can boot it to any computer and have access to its hard drive and all of that just with your Android device. And the coolest thing about this app is that the minimum operating system is just 35 MB, which means you can just start from the scratch and boot into OS within just 10 minutes. Next up we have Flashify, basically what it does is, it allows you to flash boot images, recovery images and zip files directly from your Android device. For those who do not have a recovery installed on their device or recovery is not made for their device, they can use this app to flash the boot images or recovery images. And again this app is free on the Play Store, you can buy the premium version to support the developer. If you have a rooted Android device, then you will be definitely jumping into the recovery or bootloader or you will be restarting your device for example when you install an expose module or any other rooted application. This is where our next app comes in. This is known as quick reboot. Well, what this quick reboot does is it makes this rebooting procedure a bit easier. If you just tap on it, you have options like restart, reboot to recovery and you can also reboot to bootloader. If we just click on settings, you have many settings like hot reboot, airplane mode and many more. You can just enable them by just clicking on the tick icon on the right side of them. And well, it will definitely save your time some time in the long run. Next up we have root essentials. I will definitely recommend this app for those who have a rooted Android device. Basically it does everything what a rooted Android device needs. If you just want to edit your build prop or you want to flash recoveries or custom ROMs, you will use Flashify. So why not use something which does all the tasks? Root Essential is a toolbox which consists of all the tweaks you can perform on a rooted Android device. You have different options like storage, interface, tools and etc. Next up, on our list we have SDMate Pro. There is also free version of this app which is called SDMate Free, but I will definitely recommend you the pro version of this app. If you uninstall an application but some of its log files are still there on your storage, or suppose if you have some duplicate files on your storage, obviously you can delete these files individually but it's a hectic and time consuming task. Is there any smarter way? Yes, there is. We can deal with this cleaning issues 
by using estimate pro it is mainly useful for those who have a low internal storage you can just pause the video and see every single feature of this app Next up on our list we have system app uninstaller. Basically what it does is it allows you to uninstall system applications or bloatware which are pre-installed on your android device. Mainly rooting your android device means better battery life. This is where our next app comes in. It is called Greenify. Basically what it does is. It hibernates your system apps to extend the battery life and in order to give you some more performance. It also acts as an exposed module. With exposed module, you can hibernate system applications also. To wrap up this top 10 rooted application list, at the last we have boot animation. Well basically what it does is it changes your stock boot animation to any other boot animation you want. You can choose from hundreds and hundreds of boot animation and apply it. That's it for this video guys subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this and hit the like button if you like this video and share this video with your friends and I will see you in my next video.